It's a part of the baggy trend look, which I don't really care. Wait, can I, I need to speak on the trend topic. So. Welcome back, cookies. And if you're new here, my name is Carolyn Gray, and my channel's about fashion mostly, but sometimes I sprinkle in some other life-associated topics. But today, kind of mixing a little bit of both, actually. We're going to be flipping this closet into spring. So we're going to take out the winter, probably purge a couple more things, and add in the spring. And I'll probably be purging some of those pieces, too, because I haven't seen a lot of it since last year, right? So... So far, all I've only started is taking out, I feel like my makeup is not, I gotta figure it out. But I definitely started off taking everything out of the, um, we have like a boiler closet and I had all these like bins and suitcases filled up to the max with all the spring stuff and right now the home is looking crazy but for good reason so everything else that was living in the boiler closet is out because i cannot put the suitcases and tings back in there with all this stuff blocking it so I had to make room and pull it all out so once I'm ready to go back in there I have the space that I need to do it in so let's take a look at the closet shall we and I know I'm gonna be judged for some of this it's okay so obviously this is winter we're gonna get rid of most of these coats here it is a bit chilly so I might leave maybe a liner here or there or a thicker um, blazer y'all know I love this blazer but I'm going to be taking out, you know, leather pieces, sweaters and sweatshirts. This is a mound of hell. I just don't understand why I can't get rid of this crap. And then I have like little peekaboo um, sweaters up there that just need to go. And when it comes to like my drawers and whatnot, um, this is staying in there. But mostly everything in my drawers are already just t-shirts or workout gear, underwear. So... I won't be diving into my drawers so much. Um, I just feel like the lighting in all the rooms are just not for me today. But it's okay because we're not focusing on that. I am just going to get this done because I don't want to lose the light. Um, I don't even know what time it is. It should be like 12 or 1. But... Let's get started, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull everything out. So I'm going to put you over here, and I'm going to pull everything out, and I'm going to actually separate it in a way where, like, pieces like this, like things that create more heat on the body, will go on this pile maybe some maybes in the center like lightweight knits and things like that and then anything that is staying in the closet will be um for this pile so like summer pieces like my white jeans are in this pile already so let's get cracking okay definitely do not need this puffer the rick is going in yeah and as i like switch these things out i'm gonna take the hangers off the shearlings could go away you know what's crazy i did not wear her that much this season and you know it wasn't a cold winter so what is my excuse <sighs> She needs some air though. Oh gosh. When I take her out, I'm gonna make sure I dry clean and fluff her up with a blow dryer. 
okay. Watch out. Okay. This can stay out. She was fun. You know, these girls from Nasty Gal weren't too bad at all, actually. This is real fur, and this is faux. I had fun with both of them. I'm annoyed at myself. I barely wore this gem. <sighs> but the thing is, the this fur piece can come out. I might actually keep her in there just for the leather and keep everything attached. So I'll just take it off when I want to wear her. So this will be staying. Um, I feel like my other leather jacket can stay out. This can go in. She's such a rock star though. We're gonna keep her out. I, I, I prefer to keep certain leather jackets available because it's just, it's just easier. Oh, my soul leather blazer. I forgot about this girl. Okay, she can stay. And you know what, because I have all these liners, I have a couple of, um, I have a couple of denim jackets that can do what I need. She's cute for like a movie night. Okay, we can keep her out for the spring nights. Oh Lord. All right, sir. because the pile of winter goods is quite large that needs to be packed and I only have one bin two bin big old suitcase so I'm a little concerned about the space so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take all these winter pieces that I know I want next season and that I need to pack away. I'm gonna put it in the living room and move in the spring and summer stuff and start hanging those pieces up. Oh my God, I just realized that there is this bucket that I have near my bed over there. Um, so that that is a bucket of clothing that is consisting of uh, loungewear so like when I come home at the end of the day I take off my clothes throw it in the hamper and I put on like a lounge set or whatever and all my lounge sets are in that corner and most of them are heavy knits because it's been winter and it's been cold You know, maybe my next video is going to like NARS or something and getting color match because what is going on with my face? Anyway, let's let's get that done. Decided to dive into the spring baskets because I'm like what I don't even remember anything but I'm noticing that there's some winter pieces still in here so I'm gonna move them out 
and I'm going to when I'm packing the winter things I'm going to reassess everything you know things I'm like I didn't even think about those I didn't even remember I had this like I'm for those types of moments okay I think everything is now no it's not oh my gosh I really forgot I had this see see what I'm saying so the things I had that reaction to I'm not going to be keeping and it's going to go in that purge pile but oh I'm excited for these Fee Noel linen pants that I didn't get a chance to wear last year because I bought them late in the season I'm excited for those oh the other Fee Noel pants the panty the panty pants I think that's what they're called. What is this? Oh no, child. I don't think I like that. Okay, this is going to be eventful. But I think I need like a snack. Okay, so one of my favorite things to eat is a croissant <laughs> toasted um, from Trader Joe's. And I put this vegan pesto and like shaved asiago or like parmesan and i'll put it as a sandwich and it is so good oh my god i freaking love these croissants like i'll if i can't get it because they sell out at the one that i go to i'm like carlos can you stop at the trader joe's in queens because i need my croissants for the week like even though i want to hurry up and just get this thing done i know i need to um get some nutrition or some kind of sustenance a little bit of sugar i might eat some fruit with this too um, also this is my favorite matcha situation um i do the um culinary grade matcha from jade leaf i do like a tablespoon with um the starbucks brown sugar syrup like two pumps first and i put the the uh, matcha i put a little oat milk vanilla chobani oh it's a sweet situation i think um blend it all up put some ice but it's my favorite way to have matcha yes child is toasting these plates are my favorite from cb2 yes cb2 Oh my God, bitch, I burnt it. I was standing here the whole time. How did this happen? I ruined the whole percent. It's not even, this is absurd. Oh my God, I'm so mad at myself. Now I don't feel like I even deserve one. I cannot believe I burnt. I've never done that before. I was standing here the whole time. How... It must be set on like 500. Oh my God, it really was. How did I not see that? Now I'm gonna watch it like a freaking hawk. There goes my Friday croissant. Gonna have to get more. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Like, I can't. This is why this is not a YouTube cooking channel. 
I tried in the beginning. I mean, I can cook, but the thing is, it's like when I'm filming myself cooking, that's when I make the most mistakes. Cause I tried it before. I actually have one cooking episode where I made rasa pasta and that shit is banging. But for now, I'm gonna eat this really quickly and get back to work on this project. Okay, so I've eaten my little snack. Now I'm gonna dive into these clothes. And I actually do not feel like doing this anymore. Like I totally regret doing this on this day because I just wanna take a little nappy nap. But if I hurry up, I can still make it to the roof on time, get a little bit of sun and enjoy the day and the weather. So let's just get this done. Okay, so here is the mound that is going to go in this closet. I feel like I, I'm going to sift through this one more time because I do have a lot of coats back here, but they're like lightweight trenches and stuff, and I fear that I'm not going to be able to fit them in the stuff that I um in the bins up front. So some of these are just going to have to live here for the season because there's no other spot for them. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to pu pull it all, it, pull that off, nope. But I need to get underneath here and get these boxes of shoes out because I don't know what shoes are underneath there. So there's some back here too. Yeah, there's some shoes back there, so I need to pull that out. Okay, so really quickly, I was like, let me try to organize this a certain way. So I'm starting off with all whites, creams, beiges, pinks, and reds. Because I've noticed that I have, like, noticeably enough red to, like, bunch together. Blues, grays, and then all black. And I'm going to figure out what's going to happen with the rest of the flow as I'm adding the other summer pieces in there. But mostly what i have in here are all lightweight breathable pieces from winter that i do love to layer so these things will definitely be staying inside of here even these leather shorts like these actually wear pretty well the only thing i would say is in the summertime i do get a little sweaty around the waistband but a look is a look and it'd be given okay especially with the t-shirt i'm wearing now with like some leopard print heels that i need to find but we're gonna dig these Whatever's down here, we're going to dig it out. I took a little bit of a baby break because a brand asked me for my ACH information so they could make that deposit. And I'm like, yes, because I would, I much, much rather have a deposit directly into the account than a check mailed to me via USPS. No certified mail. I, I don't like that for me. So I had to make sure they had that information so I could get back coin okay but yeah i'm gonna start hanging stuff up now listen it's definitely 80 degrees outside because I'm feeling it in here and my bra strap keeps freaking falling so I have to fix it. I am happy to announce I am halfway through putting in the things. Let's see the updates so far. Everything is hung the way that it needs to. There's probably one or two pieces I still need to add but now I'm going to like rearrange this situation up here and... Lord help me with this situation. I took all the shoes that were underneath there. I'm happy to see some of these because I'm like, oh my God, I missed you. And um, yeah, that's going to be hanging. But yeah, so far, I am, I'm on a roll, baby. The hair is up. Well, half of it. My bra is finally fitting correctly. And I'm ready to get into this situation because yeah.
I don't even know what's going on. I have so many t-shirts and I'm realizing if I do not wear these this summer, they're going. They're going. That's it. Um, but yeah. All right, we're gonna get the folding and, and putting that stuff. Yeah. Whew. That's all right, I'm gonna put some music on. So, I'm realizing why this is taking me much quicker than it normally does. I'm not really trying things on. I just started putting like some pieces on just to see, just to see how it fits. And now I'm like, oh, this is why I'm moving so quickly because I'm actually not making time to try things on. And then I'm in here looking like, you know, where am I gonna wear this sequin number at? But that's why I'm moving so quickly through these items. I am almost done putting the tings away. So you can see I have all cream over the creams and into blue, then into the light grays and the browns and the camouflage and to the blacks on blacks and then miscellaneous pieces like, miscellaneous bottom pieces like these uh, boxer shorts that actually look really cute with, with like a white tee in the summer and some heels. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling good about this progress. I'm feeling good about the things that I purged last summer or at the end of the summer because I'm looking at what I have left. Mine is one or two pieces. I'm like, why did I keep this? Um, and they're timeless pieces. For instance, um, last summer, I have so many white suits. I have this one, I have this stark white one, then I have a cream, like why? But I actually feel like I need them for different reasons. I got this Cos long linen shirt dress and I'm like, you know what? That was a great purchase that last year. Then I have two linen pants. I actually need to figure out how these two fit if I need to get one fixed and give away another, but Pieces like this Andrew Mulemeester, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll pop up a picture of me in it. But this is such a timeless, classic, summer, lightweight piece. Um, I'm just happy overall. And, then, and I'm glad I didn't buy too many things for spring and summer so far because, you know, I got that white button down from the Gap that I showed you guys a while ago. And then I found that I have... Um, this linen button down from Zara, which I actually was gonna go in for, and then a cropped one. Obviously, everything needs to be steamed before I wear it, but I'm just happy that a lot of these pieces just really work together. And you know what else I decided? I decided that I will only be wearing, ex I will only be wearing exceptional pieces. And wh what I mean by that is, you know, instead of going for combinations that feel super safe i'm going to wear pieces like this as basics and elevate it with another basic so like this and the white linen button down shirt and a pair of platform sandals it's just elevating the the basics and on and making my exceptional pieces my basic everyday pieces um yeah, that's just how I'm gonna turn it up this year. And I feel the same for my winter. So before I pack up my winter clothes, I will be going through everything thoroughly again. But I think I need to take a break after I'm finished with this situation and just go to the roof and like breathe a little bit because it's very, um, it's kind of stuffy in here and I don't wanna get a headache as I'm doing this. Let me see what my neighbor is doing in a few minutes. What are you doing in 20 minutes? Want to take a break with me on the roof? I got pomegranate seeds. My neighbor is one of my good friends. And she, I think she's home, but I don't want to bother her. She is actually like resting, resting. But if she doesn't mind going to the roof for a few minutes just to get some fresh air and some vitamin D from the sun, then why not? Where are my shorts? Okay, she can. Okay, yay. Okay, yay. I can bring up some uh, soda 
and pomegranates. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that, but let me put on the timer to actually see if I can finish up within like 15 minutes. So I can give myself a little bit of five minutes to freshen up and go see her. But yeah, okay, so I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'm gonna go upstairs. I changed my shirt so I could be a little bit more breathable. Taking these from Trader Joe's, these pretzel nuggets, um, and these two lemon elderberry soda. Very refreshing. Um, and I need my key to get to the roof. Where is my purse? I want some lip balm before I go up there. Um, okay. Now where is my bag? Where was I last with the bag? Y'all, can y'all, like I have to, I'm gonna sift through this one more time, but I think I'm not keeping any of these things. Um, and then I have to figure out how to put all these layers and layers of coats and sweaters into these compartments. But on a serious note, where's my purse? Oh, I hung it on my jacket. <laughs> Why did I do that? that? I never do that. I don't know what made me say, attach your purse to your jacket so you can find it easier. Like, ooh. Why would I do that? And you know what I'm going to also do? I'm going to put some lip oil on. I feel like once I get up there, that's when my lips are going to want to be chapped. And I'm going to put some uh, calming scent on from Noir Bud because I'm feeling a little stressed. So let me just breathe. It's a lavender vanilla um, with CBD. I'm a little stressed with all the work I have to do when I get back. So let me not think about it and enjoy my time with Lorraine. Let me take a bottle of water with me just to keep double hydrated, but let me see what she's doing. Let's see. She'll meet me up there. Okay, making, trying to look cute, wiping the crust from my eyes. She's trying to look cute for me. Mind you, I'm looking like an oily hot mess and she doesn't even know it. Okay, heading up. I'll, I'll take you guys up there with me actually. I'll see you up on the roof. Doesn't the rain look lovely, guys? I mean, really. Wait, no, I think those are Okay, so back in the apartment, was not expecting for us to be up there for so long, but I should have known better because once me and Lorraine start chatting, like we just, there's a lot that we have to say to each other and it's always a good time. Um, but now I need to hurry the F up because Carlos is probably shutting down his day and this needs to go away immediately. Let me remind y'all what I'm working with. So I got these bins empty and all these things over here. Oh wait, oh, oh, wait. Yeah, we have all this stuff over here and all this stuff to fill. Oh, okay, so it's not that crazy in here but the shoes are out and I need to get that situated. I need to hurry up before Carlos gets home. There we go. 
There we go. There we go. I'm so, I look so red. Um, okay. Those things are accomplished. We got the suitcase full. We have the two containers full. I'm, I, if I had more time, I would take everything out of this damn case and put it in the other one and flip them around. Let me see. How much time do I got left? Because I have a feeling Carlos slowed up whatever he was doing. Oh, I keep tripping over this damn shoebox because I told him, like, don't rush home yet. Um, I think I have enough time to flip out that, that container. I just rather the stuff be in there comfortable because I might have a few more things to add. Let me see if I could do this. This is Ernie, y'all. I've had him since I was like two, two or three. Okay, so I fit everything into the containers. Now it's time for me to get everything back into that closet. I probably should wait for Carlos because I shouldn't be carrying heavy things like this, but I was able to pull it out on my own. So yeah, use my legs. Use the leg. My dad is watching this. I know I should have took everything out, but I'm by myself. I'm doing what I can, Daddy. Mama, what you doing? I was trying to do this before you got here. Oh man, it's a mess in here. It's okay. Oh. You got the camera recorded? Yes, for my YouTube. <laughs> Whereas if we like watching people purge and swap out their closets. Okay. But 
Wow. I literally just hauled these things into this closet and I should have waited because you have more muscle than me. So I use my leg the whole time like this. Okay, almost at the complete home stress stretch. I am stressed. Um, I started this around one something. It is now 7, 7 p.m. And I took like a two hour break that night. Yeah, 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 I didn't factor that one in. But I'm going to figure out what I'm doing with this pile here. Because I think I don't I don't think I need any like I don't want none of that. Maybe one or two pieces in this pile, but like I don't think any of these things really fit me well. I have bathing suits and whatnot to put into a suitcase and I need to swap out my shoes because all these are boots. So I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this because I feel like there's a couple of styles that I can rock still until it gets really hot. So I need to figure out what shoes are going to be swapped in. I'm going to turn that music off or that song off. Okay. But I really love how my closet really came out because it's like color coordinated i know where everything is this section is not overwhelming even though i'm going to eliminate some of this again this is a dark hole we're not going to talk about this right now but at least it's not scaling up the wall like it was before so let me finish with these pieces over here because i'm hungry again it's time for dinner maybe carlos might get me some chick-fil-a but if he doesn't, it's okay. I mentioned it just to see. He's down for it, but it's kind of late. And we're not close to one anyway, so we'll see. Okay, so I'm thinking about it. And I don't think I am equipped physically and mentally to figure out my shoe situation. So I might put these that I pulled out back. Because I did take a look at the weather next week and overall it's going to be, you know, a lot more warmer than it has been. I mean, today we had like 80 degrees in New York, but um, some looks will still call for like a little boot moment. So I need to figure out my shoe situation. I'm a little, I'm, I'm a, I'm a lot a bit tired at this point. So... I might record a little bit in the morning, see how I feel, and then edit and post this tomorrow night. But I think this was the best spring flip um, because I did take my time and really sift through things last season to make sure whatever I was putting away that I loved it, that it worked with the rest of my wardrobe. And now I'm really excited to shop my closet this year because I'm seeing so many um, essential pieces that are also statement pieces. And there's things I didn't get to wear last summer because I got it at the last, at the tail end and it was too cold at that point to, you know, um, blend it into the fall stuff, fall and winter. So I'm really excited. I have like a pile of stuff here that I need to try on to see how it actually fits me. And I have a, let me show you. Let me show you because it's absolutely. So this is a huge Nordstrom bag full of clothes. And I do think there's a couple of shoes in here too, maybe sneakers. Um, and then the large bag that you can literally fit a whole person in there's clothes in this as well that i need to go through and uh take to to beacon's closet because i did do a closet sale recently i just kind of think it's a little bit too much to do another one when i just had one so i rather um have my friends kind of go through this stuff take what they want and then whatever's left i'll take it to beacons and see what happens but you know it's crazy last time i went to beacons after the closet sale that i had i had quite a few things left over because i was only holding stuff for a day um and i sold a lot so thank you if you if you did get something from the closet sale and supported it um but the next day i went to beacons closet 
and typically I let them go through it and then I go back and pick it up which I did that this time and the amount of things that I I had in that bag left that were closer to end season or like a season before I only got $180 out of it and I'm listen that's a lot of money right but usually for the amount of things that they had taken out like I've sold very similar amounts multiple times unfortunately I just I have I do hoard clothes and I accumulate a lot and it is very ridiculous I know um but I've been selling at Beacon's Closet almost every year for the last 10 years okay <laughs> sometimes twice a year so I literally um but anyway and those were like four six hundred dollar days for me at Beacon's Closet. So I feel like something funny happened because the girl who was going through my stuff, you know, I sat on the side for a little while because they actually took my bag and got to work on it right away. Where typically like it takes 45 minutes for them to start. And that's why I usually just let them do their own thing. But the girl was going through it a little bit. She was taking her sweet time, like having conversations on the side, then going back to my pile of stuff and then like looking at someone else's buy. And then like literally she didn't even finish the buy. She went to lunch and some other guy finished it. So I feel like something I got screwed over the last time and I'm going to go there and I'm going to let them know how I feel about it. And I'm going to watch them go through my things because you're not going to play me or I'm just going to go to another location and watch them go through my things. Um, because that they, I, I don't trust this. Something really off was, was happening and I did not get the money I was supposed to. I know for a fact it don't add up. So yeah, I'm going to just, yeah, we're going to go through these shoes maybe tomorrow and figure out a game plan because I do want to keep a lot of my boots out. Um, I even have shoes underneath that thing. Lord Jesus. But yeah, well, this is basically a wrap, but let's see what happens in the morning. But I really like how my, my closet is flowing. You know, it goes from the creams to the browns, the yellows, the reds, the blues, and then like, oh my God, I'm so excited for these pants. They look beautiful. Then my darker greens black and white prints and then all black and then those are the trench coats that couldn't fit but it goes from tops to dresses to bottoms to jackets or blazers and yeah and then these are just like regular sweaters or sweatpants I could just pull real easy my t-shirts live up there and these are fun bottoms like you know not your normal pant or jean and then I'm just happy with this flow. So I want to make sure that when I put in my shoes that it all makes sense to the wardrobe that I have now. I did a great job. You got to tell yourself and believe it in yourself in saying that when you do a good job. I did a good job. Even though Carlos came home before I thought he would. Um, he ended up helping me put everything else away. So bless his heart. And he did go to Chick-fil-A. So I'm gonna have Chick-fil-A for dinner and I'm excited. I feel like a big old kid. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning and yeah. Bye. Okay, so here are a pair of equipment. It's a pinstripe, like a silver pinstripe pair of pants that they do fit pretty well, actually. They do fit pretty well, but they're a little bit long or longer than I actually would want. And a shoe would not really fit well with that bottom. So I'm actually, I didn't realize that, that these were gonna fit so well. I love that it's almost like a paper bag waist. I can um, actually fold it down if I wanted to, cause that's like a look that they're doing. I'm seeing a lot of pants that look like this, but with the white detail, I actually like these a lot. I was, I'm, I thought I was going to get these up because I was like, I haven't worn these things. Let me try these on to make sure. But we're keeping them. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So I thought I was going to want to give these up, but I don't. These are from Zara from like years ago. And until I find a more refined pair that has a slit on the knee, I'm going to keep these. Even though my knees look like little baby faces if you stare at them for too long.
but yeah these are these are just not your regular regular black pair of pants yeah so when you're in movement they look really cool i forgot that i like these so much so they're staying wow it's giving everything must stay because i totally forgot i got these tailored to fit me because when i first got them they were so loose and I mean, should I wear these today? No, no, no. I'm going to wait till next week. It's going to be like in the 60s. I think this will be a better vibe for that weather. Oh my gosh. And these are faux leather and they look amazing. These are from Sunder Bay. Um, which I don't know what they're doing with their brand because the co-founder has had a baby recently and I feel like they have not updated their website in a long time. So hopefully they'll be refreshing it or restocking because it's a it's a, an amazing um, basics company, um, elevated basics. But yeah, okay, next. Another item that I forgot I got tailored last year. Um... Yeah, I, everything is wrinkled, so it doesn't look that amazing. But these with a pair like Stan Smiths or uh, what's it called? Sambas. No brainer. No brainer. Wow. And this, I, I love my tailor. I love my tailor. This, this is perfect. It really is. Okay, so i'm a little torn because the thing is i don't wear these jeans enough because i don't want to wear the tallest heels in order to wear them they're super long these are old um 2019 men's balenciaga i got them tailored to fit my waist um i'm on the fence and even though it's like it's a part of the baggy trend look which i don't really care wait can i, I need to speak on the trend topic so A week or so ago, I covered the topic of quiet luxury because I like it because it's something I incorporate in the ebbs and flows of my personal style, right? Um, and I feel that being a creator, this is you, you pick a topic you want to expand on and that's that. Or if it's something that you don't like, it's a topic that you want to expand on. It's the creator's choice. And I feel like we we really live in this world and I'm noticing it more as I'm creating and growing more that people really cannot contain themselves when they hate something or they wanna say something hurtful to take time and energy to write slick shit in the comments. Um, And it's sad, it's kind of pathetic, honestly, because it's like, it's a lot of negative energy to to create within yourself and to pull out and to post out there for the world to see to then have that karmic energy hit you back in a different way in a negative way right i just feel like why is it what why is it worth some of y'all's times i just don't understand or like correcting someone's pronunciation i have an accent i might not say things like you and if the brand reaches out and tells me i didn't say it the right way then i will learn i will try my best to learn it that way because sometimes i do ask i'm like i don't know if i'm saying it but yeah i i you know i don't mind being corrected on pronunciation but it's i think it's the way um comments or things are said if you want to say it to my face in real life, then don't come on, come on, like take it easy and be nice. Um, but yeah, someone definitely, I think someone wrote like, oh, if you're following a trend, then how can you be iconic or authentic implying that I'm not either. <laughs> like you try to be slick, but I caught you. Okay. But yeah, I just think don't come to my page if you don't like if you don't like something just keep going it actually takes way more time and energy to say something negative on a comment it just it doesn't bring any happy cells into your aura it just doesn't so let's live within that space i would really love and i welcome comments i don't welcome nasty slick comments obviously i know that they're going to happen i'm out there in the world it's going to happen i get that but don't say nothing if i come back at you <laughs> or delete that shit. i just i no it's not safe your nastiness is not safe on my page it's basically what i'm saying it shouldn't be safe on anyone's page 
Um, but I'm, I'm still at a level where I can catch certain things and one day I'll probably get to a space where it won't bother me and I'll probably have to work that out in therapy too. I'm very open about how I feel about these things. Some of y'all on the internet are weird and crazy and nasty and I wish I could just pluck y'all off from forever being able to use that nastiness towards anyone else. But yeah, I think I might keep these jeans, you know, I, I should just get a pair of platforms and just rock them because you know what? I spent the pretty penny on them. I spent the money to get them tailored. So I think they're going to stay. There's a lot more staying than I thought was going to leave today because I like it with this baby tee. I feel good in this outfit, actually, even though it doesn't have a shoe. It's staying. But anyway, let excuse my rant. And I don't want none of y'all to feel uncomfortable with comment anything but if if you don't like something and and you want to understand why i do or you want me to expand on instead of accusing or saying something slick ask me a question so we can create a banter and and talk about things okay you know don't be like oh i usually don't do this but then don't do it if you don't usually do okay all right i'm done okay all right moving on okay Should I keep this? Comment below. <laughs> Comment whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Comment whatever. I don't know if I should keep this. Because I have a black skirt. The same length. But I feel like the blue is... I'm not... Something about the blue in this silhouette is throwing me off a little bit. And I feel like I can only wear a high heel with this moment. So I'm just trying to figure... I like the black one for sure. I'm just not sold on this one. But what do y'all think? Should I keep it or should I give this up? Comment below. Okay, finally something I'm like not, no. The length is just, actually it hits pretty well at the bottom, so no. I think it's because they're just such a big, like they're large. I think they're like an extra large or something. I'm I'm not. I'm not feeling these. And it, it's this. I don't like it. This isn't it. I don't. We're not keeping that. I'm going to just give that up. Like I know they're super wrinkled and look crazy. Watch me keep these anyway. Because sometimes I say I'm not going to keep something. I'm like actually I wore it. And for like another hour. Because I got distracted by something else. And I just ended up realizing I actually really love these everything looks nice with this baby t-shirt that I got on no I'm not keeping these all right that's it that's all that's all I had to actually go through and when it comes to this these bags of goodies Lorraine is going to have an awesome time sifting through that because yeah I'm I'm about done with mine oh look at the tulips look how beautiful they were all closed yesterday and now they're open receiving the energies oh yeah I love that and one of my hydrangeas was dead yesterday look at this one look look we revived that little baby. She's still perking up at this one. Let me show you this one over here. I don't know, honey. I'm gonna bring her over to the light. I'm gonna try to spark her up again, but she's just a little sad looking thing. Ooh, child, she's sad. I tried though, but anyway, she came back, but I'll try to revive the little baby, but I hope y'all like this style of video. I actually wanted to know I've done vlogs before, but they weren't doing that great. And I felt like, okay, if it's not serving anyone, then why do them? But I was thinking about doing a vlog, a week in the life type of thing, or a day in my life type of thing. Let me know what you want to see more of when it comes to real-time situations. Do you want to go on events? And Well, I don't know if I have any events to go to this month. But if you want to do that, comment below if you want to see vlogs on that or whatever. Whatever. Put some ideas and things of what you would like to see me cover down below. And if there's someone else that does the same thing, like it, like source the credit, like let me know where you're getting that from so I can pay homage to them. 
um, and saying, someone gave me this idea from such and such's um, page. I thought it was really cool to do. Here's my spinoff. Like, just let me know. Um, but yeah, okay, well, thanks for joining me. I had so much fun. I'm very excited about my closet revamp um, or flip. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.